Here we are going to start with one of the basic definitions of hyperbola and work out a mechanism for plotting one. So we will start with the two foci of the hyperbola. Suppose these are given focus F1 and focus F2 and say this point P is one of the points on the hyperbola. Then by definition the distances of that point from the two foci F1 and F2 should bear a constant difference. For example here the distances are 105 and 45 then for every point on the parabola the difference should be equal to 105 minus 45 equal to 60. Uh, so this problem reduces to how to take two distances and keep their difference the same and we are going to split it into two parts. Number one how to keep the difference same between two numbers and how to subtract lengths. Uh, the first part is easy. If you have two numbers and you want to keep their difference the same, add or subtract the same number to them. For example, if you subtract say 5 from them, it, they will become 140, the difference will still be 60. And the second part is not difficult either. We have been taking the difference of distances since our second standard when we learned subtraction using number line. We have been walking distances forward and backward and thereby subtracting them. The only convenience we had at that time was the distances were along the same straight line, the number line, while here they are along two different directions. But that is also not uh, very difficult. What we can do is by some means, let's not worry about how, uh, we can bend one of these lengths so that part of it at least lies along the other one. And if we can do that, even the subtraction would be possible. This is what I mean. So imagine this length 45 is bent into two parts. So let's use the same color code. So this red line 45 is bent into these two segments 20 and 25. In that case, it produces an overlap of 20 units between these two lengths. And if your pencil point is at the bent, then effectively both these lengths will be reduced by the amount 20. So this will become 105 minus 20, 85 and this will be 45 minus 20, 25. So the difference between these two numbers, 85 minus 25 is still 60. Now let us think of how we will do it in real life. Well, we are bending something. So think of something flexible like a string. So you can take a string which is anchored at these two points, or these two ends, say using a pin here and using some means of uh, tying it here, say a knot. And then we are going to keep it taut using our pencil. Then you can look at this component here. This is remaining straight. So we can use something that is rigid, say uh, some, a piece of uh, glass or plastic or metal or wood, whatever, which will be free to pivot about this point. So we need one more pin. So to summarize, we would need something rigid and we'll need a piece of string. Uh, both these bodies will be pivoted at their ends using say pins, while the strings other end will be tied to the other end of the rigid link. So let's name these physical components. Here we have a rigid link. There is a string which is tied to a pin at one end and it is knotted uh, to the rigid link at the other. Our pencil is going to be uh, placed here so that it aligns with the rigid link and also keeps the string taut that way. And these are our two fixed pins. Uh, now we are ready for creating the mechanism itself. So here we have used translucent piece of plastic uh, as our rigid link. It has a provision for anchoring the string here and this is our pencil. Now let us see how this whole thing moves. So we will just go to some convenient uh, vantage point say here and we'll maximize this view and we are ready for motion so we can move this and you'll see the pencil is tracing a string of points let's get rid of these labels and uh, actually see what the curve is so this is the curve and you can confirm it is indeed being traced by our pencil uh, so this is by definition a hyperbola that we were looking for and the mechanism is now ready.